Hey guys, so I kind of actually just sat here for a while because I didn't really know how to put this in a video. I still don't. I don't know why. I think from when I'm filming this now, like I think two days ago, or at least within recent days, like one, two, three days ago, um, there was this news report on uh, Crohn's disease and junk food. That report actually upset many people who go through this type of disease and just the way that many people deal with it. And the report was on junk food and Crohn's disease, like that junk food is like the cause of Crohn's disease, which is actually really not true. The reason I think lots of people assume that is because most people stay away from junk foods. I don't. Mm -mm. I eat it. Um, it doesn't really affect me as most people do, but it affects most people. And since it also, Crohn's disease also has been a rise in most teens from like 15 to like 30, but it can really actually occur anytime. That's just when it occurs within the human population. Now, there's actually um, a list of foods that you should actually avoid, but I, I don't avoid, avoid. And also, when you first get diagnosed, the words that I remember hearing that I first was diagnosed was that it wasn't my fault, I didn't do anything to cause it. It was just something that was wrong in my system that it just appeared. So I just watched the interview. I can say, um, with, uh, I totally agree with, uh, Rachel that I really don't actually think, uh, that junk food does cause it because if you look, well, since I live in America, um, the whole stereotype with, uh, eating, like, lots of hamburgers and cheeseburgers and, um, just... Uh, eating lots of junk food, I, I actually when I was little I barely ate junk food. Um, my mom would cook actually different mm. types, phone, um, different types of like Asian types of food actually, but um, I have to move to the, I'm, I was watching, um, so it wasn't really like stuff that would make you sick but I mean junk food is bad for you altogether but people still eat it um but for me like I always ate good but I still have this disease um the interview was great to like raise a bit of awareness but I re no one really knows about like what triggers this disease um because if it was junk food no offense but all those big people who eat junk food all the time but they're the, the only thing that their problem is is weight and obesity and not doing things but they don't have anything else wrong with them except probably diabetes which is also bad but if they don't get diagnosed with Crohn's and they eat tons of junk food, then I really don't think junk food would be the cause. But again, I'm not a medical professional to um, dictate that junk food is not. But from my experiences, junk food actually helped me gain weight to battle this and just um, get food in my system. I'm... I'm not saying that she might be wrong, but she should also determine the factors of everyone else who does eat ja junk food, the doctor who said that. And antibiotics, I barely got antibiotics when I was little. And honestly, the antibiotics that I did get was to actually battle this, honestly, because I had some sym symptoms ever since I was like in kindergarten so I really don't know what to say but the interview did raise awareness for more people to understand 
and hopefully to like not judge people who actually have to constantly go to the bathroom and then if someone says they have Crohn's they um at least know somewhat but also what makes me upset is when um like they ask when you have Crohn's and they ask you like what you can't and can't eat is kind of a little bit upsetting because really honestly if you have Crohn's you know your triggers you know what makes you go into a flare up so just say stay away from certain stuff um honestly um I actually have a list on the computer from the WebMD that says um, certain foods that you should avoid, which is like alcohol, mixed drinks, beer, wine, butter, mayonnaise, margarine, oils. I eat. I don't do alcohol. I avoid alcohol just to make my system. I don't. It's just against like things I believe in or stuff. But um, I eat butter and mayonnaise. I don't know what margarine is. Oils, I, uh, eh. Carbonated beverages. That actually doesn't affect me. I drink lots of Pepsi, which I really should stop, but I can't. It's hard. Coffee, I don't like coffee, but yeah, coffee is, I guess, would be included. It's the caffeine, I think. Or it's just the high sugars or whatever, I don't know. But yeah, coffee, tea, chocolate, tea? I don't like tea. Chocolate, I love chocolate. Well, I don't like chocolate sometimes. It's almost like I'm pregnant. You can't eat certain foods, but I'm not. <laughs> um, corn husks. What's... I think that's the end of the corn or whatever. Dairy products, only if you're lactose intolerant because then it make it worse. But I'm fine with dairy, even though I do take a vitamin D pill. Fatty foods, like fried foods, you know, fast food. But if it helps you and you know it doesn't trigger, like, flares or whatever, eat it. You're totally fine. Food time fiber. I actually don't know what kind of foods are actually high in fiber. I really don't. If it makes me go to the bathroom, um, I don't eat it. Well, if it makes me, like, run to the bathroom and everything, yeah. Gas-producing foods, because then it'll make, like, you have tons of gas and you're gonna, you know. I like lentils? What's lentils? Beans. I don't like beans anyways. Um, luguims? Luguims? What are... Luguims? I don't know what that is. Cabbage, broccoli, and onions. I like onions and I like cabbage. Nope, not cabbage. Cabbage is okay. Um, broccoli, I love broccoli. Like Chinese broccoli. Onions is good for a little. Or is it garlic? Like, I don't know. Nuts and seeds. Um, actually, I found out I, I can't eat that much popcorn. Or I can't eat popcorn. Cause it makes you go to the bathroom a lot. Because popcorn actually has a seed in it, so... And it doesn't go through the digestive tract, so, that well, for a person who has Crohn's like me. Raw food, raw fruits, raw vegetables, yeah, I don't eat raw things, no, I like them all cooked. Red meat and pork, I don't like red meat because I think there's blood in it, so. Pork, I love pork, I'm still going to eat it anyways. Spicy foods, whole grains, and bran. I don't, yeah, spicy foods, I can't eat too much of it or it will, you know. <laughs> but um whole grains I really don't know about whole grains I think I eat whole grain stuff or I don't I don't know but yeah um basically those foods the reason why you should also avoid the foods is because they can't go through your system that well so it causes you know diarrhea and stuff like that so that's the reason why they tell you to avoid all those foods. So, I would. I avoid certain foods. I avoid really spicy stuff. And I feel bad because if someone's actually serving really spicy stuff, or if I don't know I'm eating really something really spicy, I'll always constantly go to the bathroom. Because um, I was at a party and I didn't know what I was eating. I was like, I'm going to eat anyways. And it was something spicy. Next thing I knew, I had to go to the bathroom. So, I, ha I avoided that one. And it was like a salad thing with the sandwich salad sandwich thing. So I was like, which one's not spicy? And they're like, oh, that one. So um, just ask like what's in foods too, so you know. Leading back to the interview, it was great awareness. I'm not saying she's right. That's all I'm saying. But for people who do have Crohn's, 
find your triggers. Because if you think about it, babies who get diagnosed with Crohn's, they're eating milk. Well, not eating. They're drinking their mom's milk. And they can't, you know, eat junk food or have antibiotics. They're just born. They didn't cause anything. Um, they're really, you know, big people who constantly eat fatty foods. They don't have Crohn's, but, you know, they're fine. So, um, just basically, I would listen to your GI doctor, your gastroenterologist, and avoid certain foods like on the website. If you don't know, go search it online. Um, if you need help, search it online. Like, there's support groups. I don't go to a support group. But seriously, though, um, if you want to do things like that, go to like Crohn's and Colitis UK or Crohn's Colitis whatever and it totally helps uh, find people who understand, find friends who would understand um, anything to help you get through because it's a lifetime thing and there's no cure, you can't get cure so yeah um, I think I might do another of these videos soon actually so I'll see you guys uh, this was a very serious topic, but that interview has actually been on my mind. I read about it. I didn't actually get to watch it until like five minutes ago, but it was really actually kind of a bit. It made a lot of people angry. It kind of made me angry too because you can't just say this and this leads to Crohn's. And I mean, I understand you're seeing a lot of it jump in the teen range, but... It was really disrespectful to certain people and a lot of people who have Crohn's. So, I'll see you guys later. Remember to check out my videos that I also have on this channel. I mean, it's not just uh, Crohn's, and I'm really itchy, sorry. It's not just, you know, Crohn's videos, even though I only made like three. Um, two of them were in the hospital when I was getting Remicade and... It's this one that when I'm actually at home. And well, in the other one of five years. I think I'm going eight or seven now. Eight. It'll be eight in January. So, um, yeah. Um. So, yeah. I'll see you guys. See you nerds later. Um. Remember to subscribe and like this video if you, you know enjoyed it. If you have Crohn's, you know, you can tell me by your experiences because I would love to know more, make my daily routine more better for myself and to help others who are dealing with this to know where to go and um, what they should avoid because I avoid spicy foods and that's basically it. And popcorn, I, those are the things I avoid. But you know, um, leave a comment below and tell me about your experiences, that'd be cool. Or whoever watches this. Um, see you later and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye bye.